I'm so excited to share with you Vita Gardens, Keyhole Mezzo. This is something we're really, really going to get into. This is part of the Victory Gardens that are going all across America. And I'm just so excited to share with you all of the prosperous developments in what we're doing in the next couple of days. So let's go over there and take a look at what we've got going so far. It's taken a few hours for its assembly and to understand the layers of composting, but I think we've really got that down. And a big shout out to New England Arbor Company for providing us with the Vita Garden. So come on, let's go. Judy, are you going to come with us too? Come on, Judy, show everybody what we're doing in the garden with the mezzo. Let's go. It's sort of a hot day and it's not the time yet to start working outside. We usually begin our work at around four o'clock just as the heat starts to die off. It's really difficult for the roses right now as Floribunda, as they appear, they're so hot. And there's nothing more we can do because we can't overwater. We don't want fungus. We don't want mildew. But we're happy to see that the raspberries are really starting to happen. And I wasn't sure that Monrovia would be um, of knowledge as to whether or not the first year you plant that you'd actually get fruit. But here is an example of what is coming. Of course, we've lined all of our uh, fence lines here with all of the berries, the Marion berries, the raspberries, the boysenberries. And then again, starting from uh, seedling, uh, thanks to Lexi Rose, who lives in my community. Uh, she's an amazing Advent gardener, and she brought over these uh, early seedlings of a hybrid uh, beautiful heirloom tomatoes, all organic. And you can see within just a couple of weeks, they have really started to uh, bloom. So anyway, this is day three, and you can see there are layers that have to take place here in the mezzo. We're going to actually be at the fourth layer probably either this afternoon or early tomorrow morning. And at the very end, we're going to uh, add, as I had told you earlier, about six inches of organic topsoil. So that will take us to the top. And then we're going to saturate it again with lots of water. Mind you, this is the, the actual keyhole. You can see it. It's got leaves and sticks, and we're just beginning to prep it for all of the kitchen scraps, which will then begin to set up the composting um, chemistry, which will basically be feeding all of these bins. And I'm excited because I can grow an entire garden in the mezzo right here. So we're really thrilled to share all of this with you in this beautiful valley that I call home, Santa Inez Valley, that is. And just to know that, you know, in this time of COVID, there are things that you can do in your own garden space, wherever that is, just to get outside with nature, to hear the sound of bees, to be in the presence of that beauty of the early morning light, and of course, the dusk at sunset, which is so extraordinary here. So I'm excited. It's a little hot. I'm going to go back inside and make a little lunch for Jim and give Journey a treat, and then I'll be back in the garden at four o'clock. Won't you join me? See you then.